ませんかまとりあえず姫さんにとっての最悪だけは怒らないと思ってればいいさあいつらの大切な友人である限りなぶれないですね南雲さんは本当、ゆえさんが羨ましいありがとう<笑>はじめくんの女たらし油断も隙もないですねえ一体何をささやいていたの I can't understand the words、Ooh. I'm calling it right now. Are you for Reda? Episode number four,、uh, season three, episode four. This was the best. This is the best. Unequivocally, unabashedly, you can't argue me on it. This is the best episode of the week. This episode was just absolute freaking fuego. It was fire. It was just everything that I wanted. And it was featuring Shay, Shia, however you want to call her. I always mess up the name. Our favorite rabbit girl, and she got her revenge. Okay, like she got her revenge on the dude who like killed some of her family members and some of her tribesmen. Like, she got revenge. I'll talk about that in a second, but we have to talk about Shay's dad. Like, he is the master just being able to. Alpha, alpha delta. <laughs> I was like, fuck yes, let's go. He was just such. Such an incredible badass. He just played the part to the perfect degree. And he had the, the chops. He had the skills to back it up. He really saved the Havia tribe. So our boy Hachime better feel like exponentially, and I know he does, but exponentially proud of this, this tribe that he created from this beast man that are just operating on just another level to where they can rival an empire and just freaking destroy them from the innards. Like, this is so cool. So I just loved everything about it. Uh, now, they, they obviously succeeded in what they were trying to do. They basically had the empire at their heels. Uh, and as Hajime said, now the real battle begins. So what's going to come next? I don't really know, but Hajime just operating, including them, on another level. Now, Shay, with her getting revenge, I thought was just the coolest thing. You know, she, you know, Hajime gives her the nod. She's like, okay, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go do it. And she does. She grabs that hammer and she's like, yes, let's effing do it. You want to get to your to your little boss? You want to get to your little your little, little baby boo, little bitch ass king? You got to get through me. She said,、like, yo, you got to get through me. And one guy was like, just ignore the bunny girl. And he, she just whap. Like she killed him like, like that. One badass scene. Love the fight. Just her stopping the, the asshole's sword with her foot. And then just, ba -ba, like one little, ba -ba, you know, and he just got crushed. He's like, spare me, save me. And she was like,、mm, see you to the moon, bastard. She just, like, little, like, ba, like a little, ba, and he just went, oh my God, just so cool. Uh, Shay just showed it off. I think the only thing that would have made everything better is when she came back to tell Hajime of, like, All good, boss. You know, I think the only thing that would have made it better if he pulled her closer, gave her a kiss, and just said, Good job. I would have, I was thinking about that. I was like swooning、uh, at that moment. I was like, Even though UA was there, I know she would sign off on it. She loves Shay. So I was just hoping that he would just grab her close, give her a kiss, and just say, Good job. You did it. I was like, Oh man, that would have just made, that would have made the scene just, it was already good. Like it was already good to great, but it would just made it just chef's kiss, masterful. Like, I thought she really deserved it as well because of everything that she did. I, like, she's deserving of just like a like, really big affection. So, all of that stuff, awesome. Last thing I'll really talk about is Hajime and the princess.、Uh, I love how the princess basically told Hajime, of like, you know, hey, I've kind of been like watching you.、Um, you've been on my radar kind of thing. And Hajime kind of reciprocated in a way where he was like, yeah, you've. I've been watching you, you know, and she called his crimson eyes, you know, whatever, beautiful. And I love that. I thought that was a really cool scene. And he pulled her close. She pulled him close. All the girls got all mad. I'm like, yo, you going to rizzing, rizzing somebody up again in front of us? You bastard. Even Shizuku was like, I can't believe you. Anybody who says Shizuku is not part of the harem, I don't believe it. She's part of the ED. Watch the ED. You know she's part of the harem now. But, you know, all the girls were just like, I can't believe you.、Uh, but he basically swoons her up. He's like, She's like, Would you come save me? He's like, Well, I eventually I would come and save you. You know what I mean? He just rizzed, he just rizzed her up. So at that plus one, at the princess. I just thought it was really cool. I like that he danced with her. I like that UA gave her permission.
Uh, I like I liked what they you know they shared. I like that he called her out, and I like how he's like, "Don't worry, I'm gonna take care of you." And she's like, "What do you What do you mean?" And then you see the princess the princess head get flown off. Like, yo, that bastard wasn't able to get nothing in. So just a perfect blend of an episode, and then you you pair it off. And I know I've talked about it tons of times, but you pair it off with that beautiful, perfect. It's a perfect ED. Not only is it just fan service galore with all of our gorgeous girls perfectly drawn in and animated uh, that we've come to love. But then just that song is perfect too with just the balance of the gun and all the girls. It's just it's just a perfect ED. I really think Ari Ferretta and Don Machi this season have just like these like perfection EDs that represent Don Machi represents the season with with the goddess and then Ari Ferretta represents this season kind of like focusing on all the girls and their, you know, their, their, their specific events uh, that's happening. Shay being like the, the focal point at this point, but then we're probably going to get another point where maybe we, maybe we get Tio action. Maybe we get Kaori. Maybe we get the, the Shizuku continuation. Uh, we know we're going to get another, you know, focal point. Uh, Yue, maybe even she has a different one this season, but she was like the biggest one in the first season. So Regardless, just really, really fantastic stuff. So, yeah, this episode was a 10 out of 10 to me. Even if, even if I put my reviewer hat on, like, you know, hey, let's be real critical. Let's actually be a reviewer. I would still put this at a 9 out of 10. Um, now, that does come from the mindset of somebody who enjoys the, you know, who enjoys the product, who enjoys the media, right? Like, if I'm jumping into what's a good video game, uh, there was a new Sonic game that come out that came out recently. Uh, it would be like jumping into that, but as a big Sonic fan that was excited about that and jumping in, that's from the mindset I'm coming in as a reviewer. Is like I love the product, I love the media. We're, th- we're three seasons in, you know that Sonic game. You're you know, forty five Sonic games in. It's like you love that, so you're I'm coming in with that lens. So it's still a little bit of a biased lens to it, but I still have to say, like from a reviewer standpoint, I still think this was a nine out of ten. But just as a fan, I thought this was a 10 out of 10 episode. I really, like, I was engaged, and I thought this episode was just, from the beginning, when you had the two guardsmen talking about getting it in with rabbit rabbit girls and how they're the best and they taste the best, to the end where you had Hajime telling the Hollywood tribe, good job, and then going, ah. It was just all just fantastic. So anyways, yeah. All right, Ferretta, season four, or season three, episode four, best episode of the week uh, and Ari Ferret is just operating on another level this season. I'm just, I just love it. All right, I'll see you guys next week, my friends. Peace.